if you have ever built and deployed a web application, you know that serverless computing has been a game changer because of its ease of implementation that requires no setup or maintenance of a server. But guess what? It just got even better. Vercel just launched Fluid Compute. Let's break down what it is, why it matters, and how it improves upon traditional serverless computing. Let's dive in. Alright, before we jump into what makes Fluid Compute so special, let's quickly review how traditional serverless architecture works. Here's a diagram of a typical serverless function execution process. Serverless platforms like AWS Lambda and Vercel's existing functions execute code on demand, which means that a user's request to a resource invokes an isolated instance of a function, which in most cases runs on micro VMs, which leads to cold starts if the function isn't pre-warmed. Their scaling is tied to function calls. Each request spins up a function instance in the micro VM. This model works well but has downsides. First of all, cold starts slow down things. If your function stays idle for a long time, the next time a user requests a resource, the function will take a lot of time to respond back because the micro VM hasn't pre-warmed. Because of this, a lot of resource underutilization occurs because the function just sits idle. Also, their scaling can lead to major inefficiencies and high bills. So, while serverless is great, it's not perfect. Enter Fluid Compute. So, what exactly is Fluid Compute? In simple terms, it's a new model for running serverless functions that optimizes for concurrency, stability, and cost. Here's what it provides. Instead of one-to-one -one request to instance model, multiple requests can share the same function instance, which means less idle time and thus lower costs. They have implemented something called cold start protection, where they provide pre-warmed instances. That means fewer cold starts, which keeps things snappy. Next comes optimized scaling. Instead of spinning up new instances per request, Fluid Compute scales functions dynamically before instances can do that. With extensions to the function lifecycle, the new wait until call lets functions run background tasks after responding to the client. So the responses to a user's request can be much faster while the background tasks keep working on the side. Fluid also comes with multi-region execution. It automatically routes requests to the nearest region for the user, which provides blazing fast performance. On top of all, it provides native Node.js and Python support, which means no restriction on native modules or standard libraries. All these mentioned changes result in up to 85% cost savings and significantly better performance for high concurrency workloads. Pretty cool, right? Okay, no matter what kind of backend architecture you're working with, whether it's traditional servers, serverless functions, or the new fluid compute, databases are always a core part of the equation. And that means SQL is an essential skill for every developer. The team at roadmap.sh has just launched an amazing course on mastering SQL that walks you through everything from the basics to the advanced techniques. I'm not a big fan of courses, but they are offering something very unique. You will get 55 plus lessons, 100 plus practical challenges, and most importantly, an integrated coding environment where you can practice SQL on the web. No need to install anything literally. You also get an AI tutor and of course, a completion certificate. If you're serious about backend development, this is a must learn skill, so make sure to check it out. It's not a referral. I have personally learned a lot from it. Link in the description below. Let's get back to the topic. So why should you care about Fluid Compute? If your app handles high performance tasks or high concurrency traffic, this can drastically reduce compute costs. If you have struggled with cold starts in the past, Fluid Compute minimizes them. And if you need better scalability, this system scales faster than functions usually could do. In short, Fluid Compute makes serverless computing much more efficient, affordable, and powerful. If you are interested, all the related links to the documentation are in the description. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe the video and let me know in the comment section below. Hit that bell icon for more deep dives into interesting tech. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.